What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. So this is a sequel to the first game. First one came out back in 2019. We played it here on the channel and uh, honestly, they're fun. Like, uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. It's all about sniping, all about the long shots, getting those crazy bullet cams and stuff like that. Like I, I like it. You know, stay stealthy, hit them from a distance. Don't let them see you, that sort of thing. It's 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 a ton of fun. So I'm excited for this. Hope you guys are too. If you guys want this to be a full series here on the channel, then all you got to do is let me know. Drop a like on the video. Leave some comments down below if you guys enjoy it. And uh, we could definitely make that happen. So here we go. Let's start up a brand new game here. Greetings, Raven. Thank you for accepting this commission. And welcome to Kuamar. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people. President Omar al-Baka and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. We have actionable intel Kuamar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. Ooh. A war here is unacceptable. It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. Can't have that. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President al-Baka. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to Rashida, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist, Lars Hellstrom. Wanted by multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections, and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. We need you to shut them all down. We also have a friendly in country, Taj Tahir, a journalist and the son of one of Russia's few political opponents. He disappeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. Your new gear should help, especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display and a direct comms link to me. Perfect. Rashida and her allies cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. I mean, these games have always been about the long shot, but I've heard the long shot is extra you know, kind of emphasize. We need to calibrate the mask's display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up and let's begin. Roger that, Control. All right, I can do that. Nice little training area here. Let's go ahead and pick up our rifle. Take a prone position to stabilize your base. We need consistent readings. All right. Switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Binocular mode? Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Sweet. Sounds good to me. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. Okay. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. A target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Ah, so you can check Focus it. On your breathing. Splash this target. Aim for the head. You can check how far they are by their their height. But we we can zoom in, of course. And then obviously the the bullet's gonna go where that red dot is. So bang, there go it for is. The next one. Next one's gonna be next over target, here. Target, you're 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range. Good. Already got a boss. Raven, find your next target. Next target's gonna be over here. Just in your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Interesting. So we're gonna be able to be able to set this thing for 400. Ah, then we can keep it on the center line. I like that. Now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. Okay. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. All right, sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and mark all these guys here. Looks like we've got some moving targets as well. Oh, come on. Wind changed again. 
Excellent. There it is. Target down. He should be right in the middle. We just gotta get the, the timing right. Shoot, see a little bit too far in front of him. We're out of bullets. Hurry up, reload. I like that you can you can change all your little ranges and stuff and you know kind of get it dialed in. Two more to go. Beautiful. And then these guys aren't moving, so this should be easier. 460, so we're gonna move it up to 500, which means we're gonna want to be a little bit above it. Not bad. Should be an easy One shot. Last one's gonna be all the way out here. 739. Let's go ahead and go to 700. It's gonna be a little bit low. The scope is zero now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head okay. to the door behind you. Nicely the done. Door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. Gonna have all sorts of equipment and stuff, I'm sure. A First Falcon up, drone, Falcon eh? Falcon drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. So we're gonna be able to now launch it. Look at this little guy. I can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. Okay. It has a limited battery life, but will recharge when holstered. Call it back. Sweet. The drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. Interesting. Thought we were gonna zip line down this wire or something, but okay, we can send our handy dandy little drone. Caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Uh -huh. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Should be able to stay a little bit further away from it. Get in through here. Hacking one access point gives you control of all the cameras connected to it. It also prevents them detecting your presence afterwards. Any hostiles you spot on camera will be tagged in your hood too. That's handy. Sweet, dude. So we're a straight up hacker too. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. Remote sniping turret. These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate that now. Focus on the hostiles you tag with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. Exit binocular mode and command the turret to fire. Once marked, you can execute the fire command anytime. Pretty sweet, dude. Okay. One thing I should mention you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for Overwatch or use it to execute simultaneous shots if needs be. What? Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. So if there's That's two guys like talking covered. to each other, we, we could take them both down. To test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back. I think we're probably good on, on special ammo, but it looks like we've got armor piercing and explosive rounds, EMP and agile rounds, and then tagging and luring rounds. Okay. So all kinds of crazy equipment, obviously a bunch of crazy snipers, drones to hack things, all kinds of cool things. Let's get out of here. So our first actual mission is going to be here in the Zinda province. We've got four objectives. Eliminate Antoine Zarza, Captain Ronald Payne. Ooh, look at that haircut. Fyodor Novikov. Nice sunglasses there. And then we also want to sabotage some satellite antennas. Now, technically, I think we could go in like this is our main target right here. We could just do that and call it a day. I think technically you complete your mission. But obviously, each one of these, we're going to earn cash to be able to get better equipment. We're also going to get, like, reward points and stuff like that. So, going to try to do as much as we can. Raven, I'm sure you know, the record for the longest sniper kill belongs to a Canadian Special Forces operator. During the Iraq War, he hit a target over two miles away. Two miles! Today's mission won't need you to hit anything that far, but it's still going to be a challenge. This operation is designated Cold Bore Zero. We're dropping you onto a plateau located within range of all three targets. Your window of opportunity is small, so hit and move. The first target here is Antoine Zaza, Rashta's favorite warlord and quartermaster. The Zaza clan are arms dealers alongside other criminal enterprises. Eliminate him and the Kuamari government will struggle to equip their militias. Nice. 
Your second target is a disgraced SAS officer, Captain Ronald Payne. He's in charge of the Army's tactical training and currently stationed at one of their boot camps. Your third target is Colonel Fyodor Novikov, a Russian GRU agent sent here to control logistics and supply. Removing these actors from the board will seriously hamper Rashida's plans. Stay sharp. I'll be in contact when you arrive on site. All right. Two my Can you imagine hitting somebody from two miles away? Roger, Raven. What's your status? I've exited the helo, and I'm commencing recon of the plateau. Intel indicates light foot patrols and some forward observation posts only. Proceed with caution, and you should reach the sniper hides with little opposition. Understood. The plateau will provide you with three OPs which overlook each target location. They should give you a good line of sight on any hostiles. Sounds like a piece of cake. Except for the range, and with no spotter. I'm confident you won't miss. It's one of the reasons we picked you. No pressure, then. Let me know when you've reached the first OP. Roger that. Raven out. So we did get an upgrade where we've got thermal vision here, which is going to be kind of nice, as you guys can see. We've also got a silenced pistol, I believe. Coins, artifacts. I know, but if the captain finds out, we're really screwed. Don't worry about it. You go look in that park over there. I'll search it. Stealth kill or interrogate here. Let's go ahead and interrogate him. The rest of the patrol. Gonna find out their locations. Or not. Gonna try to go get this guy as well. I'm looking for the supply cache. Oh, I guess we got our information. Just very brutal. Just instantly murdering them right afterwards. Okay. I like it. So we've got, um, I guess now we can see where all the patrols are. These are eliminated enemies here. What is, what is the little red dot? Do we have a legend? We've got a legend. I don't see what the little red dots are. Maybe the kills we just had, I would assume. So yeah, we've got the, the rest of the patrols here. And then this is going to be a contract area. This whole thing is our mission area. So it looks like these are going to be our three. Holy cow, dude, this is a big... A big location. Let's just keep going. Obviously, you have to watch out for CCTV cameras and stuff, too. I think we're kind of out here in the middle of the desert, so... Not too worried about it currently, but... Just gotta keep that in mind for future missions. So, we've already got these guys pre-marked now, which is obviously kind of nice. Since we interrogated that first guy, he's got some binox. Enjoying the view there, bud? This might be a lookout we can use. But I guess we can interrogate this guy as well, see so we can find out. I'm looking for the supply cache. Alright, pretty nasty. So. Control, this is Raven with a sit rep. Roger, Raven. Go ahead. I'm heading for the OP overlooking the port. Good. We just received some fresh intel on Zaza. He may be conducting a deal today. Our sources tracked a known weapons supplier crossing the border earlier and heading on the main road to that location. If we're lucky, you'll catch them both. Do you have anything on the supplier's okay. ETA? Negative. But one of the locals may have more info. Look for a hostile stationed near one of the comms relays. I'm sure they've heard the chatter. I probably won't be asking him nicely. How you do it is up to you. Would this be a comms relay over in here, maybe? I mean, that's definitely the communications area up there, and they've got the wires coming down. I would assume it's going to be somebody in here. They probably have a desk set up with radios and stuff. So that might be our guy. Just straight drop down here. Well, lost a little bit of health. Maybe not the best idea, but it is the most efficient, so... Gonna try to go talk to that guy over in the tent. Missed our first shot, but we're fine. Can you drag bodies in this game? You can. Obviously, this is gonna be important. Gonna wanna put these guys in bushes where they're not gonna find each other. I don't think anybody's gonna come looking for this dude. 
There is a blood splatter though, so we gotta be careful. It's nice having all their, their locations tagged, so I think, you know, interrogating people is pretty important. Got one guy kind of coming this way. He's going to turn around and go back the other way. Okay. Got that guy up there. I think that diamond guy might be who we want to talk to here. Okay, so he took two headshots. Definitely gonna have to be wary of that going forward. I know he had a helmet on, so that might have some, uh, did he have a helmet on? It might have fallen off, I'm not sure. No idea how you didn't see me. The arms deal. What do you know? They're expecting the dealer soon. When? Within the hour. I don't know anymore. That's all I need. So we've got 60 minutes or less, boys. That's it. Control, this is Raven. That deal is imminent. Then you'd better get set up at the OP. I'm just gonna leave that body there. I, I'm gonna be honest, I... I don't know if we should, we probably should have hit it, but I don't think it's going to hurt us too bad if they find it. Might hurt our mission score a little bit, but also not worth the risk of potentially uh, getting found out. What? Okay, we got bodies. We can jump and climb on this. Now, we do not have enemies tagged in this area, I don't think. Not, I mean, we're, we're kind of in a mission area here. We got a fast travel point. All right. I'm hoping this is our overlook that we're wanting. I mean, homeboy was just having a little cookout over here, grabbing himself a, a you know, Control, White ready. claw or something. I'm in position above the port. Copy that. Plan your shots carefully. Zaza's is likely to run if you miss. So no alarms. Well, not before Zaza is dead, at least. Nice. So we're gonna be sniping the port, dude. That's that's where their meeting is. Is all the way across over here. That's incredible. Got a guy running to a truck. Got these guys out here. I mean, we should probably go binoc mode to try to figure out the distance. It is a thousand meters. Control. I have eyes on the primary target. Antoine Zarza. That's Antoine Zarza. At this distance, it's not going to be easy, even with all this fancy new gear. Agreed. But the basics don't change. Get him stationary to improve your odds. I'll line him up somehow. Just Good got to keep an eye on him. Send when ready. Oh, I will. I'll send it. So he's he's having a deal with somebody. Do we want to wait? Vehicle on approach. Right side. Thanks for the heads up. It's the same make and model we spotted earlier. It's the seller. I'll make sure he doesn't leave. Okay. So we've got two targets here. We're gonna have to take them both out. I don't know. Do we have our our auto turret? We don't. Shoot. Okay. The dealer's on site. Focus on Zaza. He'll head to the meeting point. I mean, we could hit Zarza right now, but obviously that would raise the alarms. I don't think we want to do that. I don't want to let him get in the buildings, though. When he was walking directly at us, that would have been an easy shot. I'm trying so hard to be patient, man, but he's going to go in this building and we're going to lose him. We haven't had a good opportunity. I, I mean, we could have taken a walking shot, but I don't think that's what it wants you to do. 
I'm assuming something's gonna come up here. Maybe opening this gate or something. Perfect. Now I've lost visual on both targets. We stopped right Maybe now. there's some way to get the hangar doors open. Yep, Let's that's it. Do. All right. 1,081 meters, here we go. I'm gonna zoom all the way in. Let's set this to, uh, I mean, 1,100. We successfully tapped his phone. You should be able to hear them talking now. <sighs> gonna take out the guard next to it first. Right through his earpiece. <laughs> Nasty. You should be able to hear them talking now. Good. Are you calling me a problematic client? No, 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 far from that. I'm just saying your uh, arms connoisseur set makes you a challenging one. I contribute to your growth then. Come We're gonna get a double. A collab, man. No, we missed the. Th Shoot! No! Zarza's down. Impressive. Not the record, though. Not this time. Besides, this off is off the books. Nothing here you can claim. <laughs> we got him. Okay. We met it went over his head by a smidge. What the heck? It looked pretty lined up to me, man. Oh my goodness. Just rip his intestines out. Beautiful. Alright. Time to go. Zarza is down. So I might not be able to locate the dealer. We got a sniper looking at us. By a big warehouse. Right side. We could probably snipe him back, but let's just let's just run. He ain't got no shot. He ain't got no shot. Just go, just go, just go. Dude, the collab would have been sick. I'm I'm kind of upset. I feel like I, I lined that up pretty good. Could have played it a bit safer, I guess. Instead of aiming for the head, could have gone for like, you know, a neck chest shot, something like that. So we're gonna move on to our next target here, I believe. Ooh. Got a couple of guys out. Is that in response to our, our little shindig? Might be. Nobody else out here. All right, I'm going to go silence pistol. Luring stones. Got an unlimited number of them. Throw a stone out there and try to get on the other side of these fellas. Can't go through there. Could have interrogate him, but didn't have any information for us. Woo. I thought that guy was going to turn around on us as well. Please, don't kill me. Then tell me where the other soldiers are. Perfect. Yeah. Got more locations, That's baby. It. Right over there. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. All right, we got all of them. So... Upon entering a collectible area, a yellow cube appears on the radar. Follow it, turns into an icon, which will lead you precisely to the item. I mean, how much do I really care about those? Not, not really. So it looks like we're going to want to push through this village here, go up through here, and then maybe get to our next target zone. All right. Can we zip line? We tried to zip line earlier in the tut. You can. Okay. Looks like we're zip lining right into enemies, though. Like a savage. And I think they hurt us. So we're just gonna keep... We're just gonna run. We are just gonna run, man. It's fine. I don't know why they put a zip line there. The enemy's just gonna be right at the very end of it. I don't know why you would take that either, Trev. That wasn't the best idea. We are right on top of this collectible, though. So, I mean, we might as well grab it if we... Have the opportunity. <laughs> Is it in here? Is it underwater? Oh, it's this book right here. Okay. Ronald Payne's notebook. Ooh, see, like, this might actually help us, though. If it leads us to, you know, where they're going to be, some of their, you know, habits, where they like to go, that kind of thing, then it, it might actually be, be something useful. The water actually looks pretty good here. Just trying to get around this, uh around this village without causing any issues. So the cool thing is, is all these missions are sandbox style. Like, you, there's not a specific order you have to go through. You can just 
hit whatever objective you want at any time. Which is uh, kind of nice. Ooh, we've got a guy. Chill it on the dock out here. What in the world is he doing? I don't know, man. It's about to be his last day, though. Let me get an F in the chat for my boy. F in the comments. I don't understand how you get up. I really... I really don't understand how you're supposed to get up on things. That is one thing I... I definitely remember this game being kind of buggy. The original one, too. Just gonna sit here and tread water while we wait for him to go away. Me too, man. Me too. Alright, he's leaving. We gotta find a spot where we can get up. I'm assuming over here on the ground. We are an elite super soldier with the ability to not pull ourselves up. Onto uh, a wooden platform from the water. Okay. I think we're good. Might be coming in some sort of a back way. Would have been nice to interrogate that guy to find out where the other enemies are, because I don't really like entering areas blind, but I guess that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to get paid for. I don't see anyone up here. Problem is, your boy likes to go in willy-nilly. Not exactly the way of a sniper, though, is it? <laughs> this is cool. I like this little free climbing action. Anybody up here? We heading to one of, yep. We're going exactly to where we want to be. There is a guy up here. I'm gonna see if we can get an interrogation. Hope there's nobody behind him. Tell me where your boys are at. Please don't kill me. Then tell me where the other soldiers are. Yeah, that way. I don't think they're that way. I think you're lying to me. Well, maybe he was telling me about the a different group. I wanted to know about these guys up here. I want to make sure nobody was up on the rock behind us. Nobody's back there. You know, relieving themselves in the bushes or anything. Ooh. This is the correct... Direction, right? Yep, looks like it. So the thing is, is we have the option. We, we can we can go stealth. We can, you know, go through here and not cause a ruckus and not shoot a bunch of people and leave a big bloody trail behind. But we can also go ahead and take these guys out. I'm going to wait for him to turn around again. We're going to try to get that Interrogation. Gonna have to act fast. Nice it up. You don't need to kill me. You don't need to do this. But I do need to know where your friends are. That's just brutal, dude. That's tough. Okay. Got everyone marked, so we can go to the left or to the right. It looks like both directions are going to be towards our objectives. My vote is to take all these guys out. Is he burying someone? Not sure what you were digging up out here, bro, but I, I'm sure it wasn't good. Okay, we've got a collectible somewhere around here. Is this it? Camouflage, desert camo, okay. So we can go right or left. Looks like there's more enemies over this way. Let's go into the hard part first, and then we're gonna go back to the easy part afterwards. Makes a bit more sense. We almost just saw us right there. Take this guy out. The supplies you're hiding, where are they? Not sure what we do with supplies. Close. Head that way. Liar.
But I'm assuming we would have grabbed those when we get the chance. Ooh, let's get some some height here. Oh, you can grab onto things. That's nice. So some guys go down in one hit. I'm sure it's kind of distance based and stuff, but I'm not very confident in this pistol. I definitely think it's going to be something I'm going to want to upgrade early on. So like this shot right here, I'm a little bit nervous to take because I don't think he's going to go down in one and that follow up shot could get ugly. You never know. Control, it's Raven. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Raven. I'm nearly at the OP for the communication facility. So inside one of the buildings. I need to get him out. This is sick. All comms equipment will draw a lot of power. Plenty of possible targets. I might do it. Or at least get him to look out of a window. Roger. Good luck. Raven, you need to disable both antennas. We're still picking up data streams from the facility. Novikov can't work without power. Roger. I'll see what I can do. So supplies, I just realized that might be our, our ammo and stuff. Raven, you can further sabotage Rashida's supply chain if you disable this comms facility. Acknowledged. There Got heavy enemies. Left side, mark 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, and right side, mark 2-1 and 2-2. Two, two. Do you have visual? I do. Control. Looks like you need armor-piercing bullets, poison gas, or explosives no to be able to take no out signal. heavies. Okay, so if we can take out... I'm, I'm just going to tag everything here. If we can take out the Jinnies, that's going to get one of our objectives Control. done. I've run recon and have no visual on the primary. And it might get our primary target out. We're tracking signals from that location. Shit. He's inside then for sure. Which is why you need to get him outside. The question is, how? We know how. I'll leave that up to you. Just cause a commotion, most likely taking out these generators. There's no explosive over near the heavy, unfortunately. Just trying to get everyone tagged here. I mean, this side's going to be a, a bit easier, I think. So let's just, let's start working on these guys. 946 meters. All right. Well, let's get this thing set up. 950... About 900, so it's going to be right on this line. Going to go ahead and take him out. My God, dude. What? Excuse me? Hmm. How far are these guys? 924, so we're going to want to stay on 9. Take him down. Take him down. Shoot. I messed up. I went over his head again. We have a weird reading. It looks like voltage fluctuation in one of the antennas. Gonna take him down as well. Then we're gonna be able to get the second antenna. Hopefully it's gonna bring our boy outside. That time his head didn't explode, so that's concerning. Here we go. Antenna. Antenna's at 927. We're currently set up for 9. So it shouldn't be that high, should it? It looks like I disabled the first go. antenna. Sometimes I feel like the Good dot's work. a little bit off and it makes you think about it. Attention. Keep an eye out for him. Okay, so maybe we wait. We have an audio signal. Bad news. One of the antennas has completely powered down. Can't you people fix anything? It's been broken so many times that you should be experts on it by now. I want to make sure we were reloaded. I'm going to wait to start attacking the other ones because I don't want to raise, raise the alarm. I'm hoping he's going to end up coming outside. There's no guarantee of that. We've got to be careful nobody goes over and sees all those bodies, though. Just got to keep an eye on, like, these guys. They don't go up there to check it out. That's got to be him, right? That's him. Control. Raven here. Go for control. I have eyes on the target. He's outside and on the move. Do you have a good line of sight? Affirmative, but he's moving. Can't get a beat on him for long enough. Can you get him to stay in one spot? Without raising the alarm? Ideally. Let me see what I can figure out. 
Okay, let's look at where he's gonna go. You may not get a second shot. Control out. He's not gonna go by that that barrel. Or really. He's gonna go up this. He's gonna walk through here. His guard stopped. Thousand meters. Alright, here we go. Thousand meters. Let's get it on a thousand. Take his guard out. The guy with him. Just disgusting. Hopefully that doesn't spook him. What is he doing? Oh, shoot. He's not gonna backtrack to his guard. Oh no, he's just chilling in there. Okay. Shit. Lost visual on the primary. Someone closed the shutters. Uh, they must be powered somewhere. I don't have okay. any blueprints. You'll okay. need to find the source. Take the guy in the right out first. Those are just brutal, dude. Now we've got this guy looking at this. Collateral, there's the collateral we were looking for. That's gonna raise the blinds. He's 960 meters. I'm gonna back it down. We want up or down. So he's working on stuff in here. Well, he didn't stay stationary for long. Son of a bitch. You missed your chance. He's heading back inside. Patience, Raven. You'll find an alternative. I didn't even give me a chance. Bro, come walk by the, the explosive or something. Also, you didn't see your buddy's body? He's gonna be going back inside. He's at 1,036. Got him. We'll take it. We had to fire a shot behind him to get his attention, and then we're going to put one right through the center mass. That's going to be kind of next to the other fellas, though. Confirmed. Nova they heard Raven. him. He's running. Shit. Don't let him escape. No way he's getting away. I won't. Don't you worry. We got to take these things out, though. Help. These are 923, so I'm going to back this down to 900. 945. Let's go ahead and take that out. Second antenna. There it is. Get out of there. Okay. We're good. We got both of our objectives there. So we're going to have to go back to the exfil. We're going to give him the info. And then we've got one more guy that we want to take down before he gets out of here. Or technically, I don't even I don't even think we have to exfil yet. So you can go to exfil in the middle of the mission to be able to get your rewards and stuff, but obviously I don't care that much about that currently. The main thing that I want to do is get up to our final objective, which is going to be up here. Let's go ahead and get our silenced pistol out, just in case we have less than friendlies. I guess this is our exfil point anyway. So yeah, you can sit here. Establish your connection, upload the database, the info, the whatever else. But it should it should keep us here. Yeah, you can continue. Well Proceed to the next one. Okay. Will do. So our final objective. We've taken two guys out. We sabotaged the the things. And now we've got to Oh shoot. This is gonna be tough. Now we've got to take out our final target. We are running out of ammo. We've got five sniper bullets left. Hopefully Mr. Binoculars over here isn't going to see that. I don't think he will. Let's be careful. Stealthy. Interrogate so we get the locations of all of his friends. Or not. Okay, so we're going to want to make our... I mean, this is our outlook point. I'm approaching the Overwatch for Payne's training camp. Do we want to take all those guys out first? If you alert them, you're going to be knee-deep in hostiles. 
Pain us sniper training too, so expect the worst. Yep. It's always tricky without a flanker guard in my back. To be honest, and you won't need one. I'm a little bit worried about the guys down here. If we fire, somebody's gonna hear us. I'm gonna go take this guy out. Ooh, that's thought that was gonna hurt, but it didn't. Bullet sponges. I think we hit the C4 on that man's chest. That is incredible. All right. Do this game, I mean, it, it is a little bit buggy. It is a little bit clunky in some areas, but it's it's beautiful and, and honestly a lot of fun. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to grab our sniper. And let's set up camp, baby. One target. He's a sniper as well. Where's his camp? Is it this? Holy cow, dude. We going for the long shot? Oh. Control. I have eyes on the primary. Do you have a shot? Negative. He's moving too much. We keep losing visual. Hard to hit a moving target at that distance. Yeah, I need to get him in a good open position. Probably or next to some moving. explosives. Take a right, take a right, take Not a right. Yet. I'm working on it. Shoot. Wait. Copy that, Raven. Control. I'm thinking that car lift might be useful. How? Dropping it will get their attention. Maybe even pain himself. Or it might alert them. Your call. Okay. I mean, I say we go for it. Car left control box, 1400 meters. He's about 1300, so. Keep it about half. He's getting away though. 1400. Okay. Stay still there, Captain Payne. <sighs> Shit. I got him with the second one. Lobbed one over his head and then got him with the second one. Good night. Let's go. Time to roll. Time to go. Time to, to exfil. Time to get the heck out of here. Give me, give me my AK. Give me my AK, please. Thank you. We gotta go. Copy. Take up defensive positions. We gotta go. Get the Out. They're definitely gonna know where that came from. I mean, it's the only tall mountain Raven, in range. Satellite shows you have hostiles approaching on your six. Don't worry. They won't be a problem for long. I'm gonna get the heck out of here, baby. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, dude. All four objectives down. Let's leave the region. Dude, this... That was fun. I... I I've got like a guilty pleasure with these games. I don't know what else to say. On your next mission, you're going to be much closer to the enemy, so you're going to need a lightweight and quiet rifle. We're going to be going full stealth, baby. I'll see you guys there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys want this to be a full series, if you guys want part two. And uh, peace out.